Hey everyone, I wanted to just uh, do a little thing here at the beginning of this episode before it starts and say I uh, messed up royally and it was actually supposed to be two episodes. This episode was, um, I recorded two at the same time and then for some reason I lost all the audio on the first one. And so here is the actual second episode of two. Unfortunately I don't have the first one because I lost the audio but I'm stupid. I forgot to hit the save button. But I went off on a little adventure, and uh, you'll probably pick up what I'm talking about here. And uh, yeah, so apologies. Uh, that's also probably why you're not gonna have as many uh, episodes earlier earlier in the week this week than uh, than normal. So yeah, well, I'm kicking myself in the butt a lot more right now. So on with the episode. All right, we're back. It's still night, and we're sitting here. And well, we don't want to fight those robots like we did last episode. So. Let's uh, let's take a look here where we're at. We are outside of the outpost. Last time we went into the outpost and we got our butts handed to us from a bunch of robots. This whole area called the Deadlands or Dreadlands or something, it's all freaking acid raining from the sky. I don't know if that's a regular weather condition there, but all I know is if we can't get through there, we're going to have to do a really long cut all the way up here around. So I'm going to make one attempt... And I'm probably going to avoid the outpost this time and go up this direction. This looks kind of straight. And just try and run through and not die. But I, I can't guarantee that. I, I, can't, I can't guarantee you, man. Alright, so we're going to go. And we're a little injured. We, we still we were right after that we set up that little house over there. and We didn't really do much resting. But all we had was like a, lo a fight with one, one group of hungry bandits. And something has walked by us over there, but apparently they don't care about us. That's okay. I'm assuming there's going to be robots in this place since we fought a spider robot that was kind of wandering out. around, Wandering around out there. So I guess uh, if we get into a one-on-one -on -one confrontation with these things, uh, I guess we'll just have to fight them. Wow. Yeah, they're just already complaining about the acid burning us. Deadlands. What a wonderful place to be. Oh yeah, and there's robots all over the freaking place. How lovely. Alright, let's see here. Uh, just kind of go that way. We discovered ruins. I'm going to go right to the ruins. How's that? I can't see the robots, but sometimes... Well, hopefully we don't get hit by lightning in this place either. I would think that's not a good thing. That would be a bad thing. Now, would this provide cover? Theoretically should. Ooh, a city out here. I go in. Oh, oh, something's going on. Someone's attacking us. All right, I can't, I can't see, gentlemen. Oh, wow, a robot guy. What is his skills? 46. Holy crap, is there just one? Wait a, minute, wait a minute, I'm trying to see if there's... Yeah, there's a guy up here, too. Holy... Oh, wait. Yeah. Uh, this might be our death, because there's a guy on a harpoon, and he's level, he's level 60, and his attack and his defense is high. Holy crap, Burkers Batman. I only see one guy down here. Uh, he just took one of our dudes out. He was kind of low level, though. Alright, let's see here. Are we still getting taking damage from acid now? Let's just take a look at some of our... I mean, I'm seeing the rain effects still coming through here, so I'm assuming maybe. But things aren't dropping. So I, I guess not. No, they're dropping. So this is probably a mistake just even fighting this. Now the thing is, there's probably stuff in this place, but I don't, if we can just survive this one encounter, I don't think I'm going to waste my time trying to fight this thing. This one guy, looks like he took out our whole crew. He's just one robot. Now he's a 50 and 50. Now we should level up pretty good with this, but uh, if we survive it, I don't think we're going to. We might be forced to restart again. 
You can't take out one robot? Wow, I mean, he could still keep going for quite a bit here, this thing. Well, he's just taking all of our guys out. Yeah, we're going to end up... Uh... Alright, let's see here. Where's the robot body? I'm going to just loot him. I don't see him in all this mess. A plank. Alright, wait. Now it's auto saving. Alright. We are pretty messed up. And there's another one right there, but he doesn't seem to be interested in us. I want him to. Come on! Can we please get back control of the computer here? This is not that uh, freaking difficult to. Hey, thank you very much. Alright, does anyone have the ability to loot this guy's freaking sword off of him? Joe does. Where's Joe? No, oh, can't because he's unconscious. All right. Yeah, we're every second we're out here we're dying. So is this this robot guy just like he doesn't care about us? Look at him up there. Well. I'm glad he doesn't care. Wow, I don't, I just don't see us getting out of this. I see us like we're literally going to have to pick up these guys and run because we're just going to burn up from the acid here. I don't know. He stings. He stings like crap. Oh, yeah, how are we going to pick up guys when our legs are all freaking negative 98 and negative 11 for lovely. I think we're going to have to restart it. I think, honestly, I think we're going to have to go around this because there doesn't seem to be a way to... No, oh, look at this. We're, we're, we're getting really messed up bad here. Wow, look at her. Look at this. Negative 41. Oh, man. I know I'm going slow here. Let's let it go a little bit if we can... Like, how far are we? I'd like... That'd be nice to make it to that city, though, wouldn't it? That'd be super awesome. I don't know if we'll be able to. I'm going to pause here. I'll make a decision in a moment. Okay, I decided to come back. I noticed they picked up... when well, the robot picked up one of my guys, and he's standing here. And he's not leaving. But he's just standing there with my guy, like, almost like he's gonna... I don't know what he's doing there. But I'm gonna kill his ass. Because you can't take my guy. I'll break your head open that coconut. There you go. Yeah, our guys are in pretty bad shape, though. I can't, uh... We're going to end up dying here soon. And this is offering no protection from acid. Alright, I'm, I'm going to restart it. It's just there's no way to really get us out of this. I'm not even really sure there could be acid. Like acid could be in the city, too. you think it wouldn't be, but... Well, I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to have to reload. Be right back. Okay, guess where we are again, once more. That's right, we're right here, alright. So, we're gonna go down into the acid valley of awesome acidness. Where acid rains from the sky. And we're gonna avoid pretty much everything. <laughs> or we're gonna run from it. Caravan visit on the way to the Outlands Hovel? No, I, you really don't need to be sending a caravan here, I, I don't think. If you want to, you can send it. I won't be there, though. So well, this is... I'm gonna... I'm aiming for that area right over here where we, we found that town before. Fortunately, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get stuck in combat a couple times here. I am gonna avoid that freaking outpost, though. Discover the ruins! Yay! Uh... I really want to avoid the whole freaking thing. Plus it's pitch freaking blackout. That's wonderful too. I can't even see really where I'm going. But that building there has got death. So we will avoid death. We will avoid it. I'm fairly certain that some of these robot husks out here are alive though. That's... That... They can... They can ruin your day real quick. 
That's great. So now that we're here, can we go into the bar and not die? Here's the bar. Everyone go in the bar. How's that? It'd be great if the acid didn't come through the roof of the bar, though. That, that would be even super. <gasps> can we buy a freaking robot, dude? There's robots rocking around. Look at that. Is he bad guy? Doesn't seem to be. Are all my guys here? No, they're not. Let's hurry up, dudes. Alright, now the question is, am I getting acid on the inside of this freaking building? I mean, there's not... Look, if you get real close up, there's no rain effect, so I'm assuming no. Can I talk to you and have you join? Another human... Blah, blah, blah. I'm in an orange or no... Okay, great. Alright, wait. Well, Dola says, dull enough to make you... Mope. Hopelessly in a dead end town while the rest of your kind prattle on about sea sprockets and rusted knees and an endless orgy of ailment resentment. Okay. Aren't you a barrel of laughs? Sorry for existing human. You you people never do do more than a few minutes of conversation with if I could shed a tear, believe me, I would shed a bucket. Alright, good. Blah 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 and more creatures and blah blah and blah blah blah. Oh I hate my life. Okay, sounds like you do like more if you left this town? Tried uh, going outside once. It smelled funny. There were far too many flies. Not to mention all the killing. And oh, that's right. The cannibalism. Awful place. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'll pick this one. I don't know why. Right, I've had dreams. None ended well. Dreams are silly things. I wouldn't recommend them. How about working for me? I can show you excitement. I hate excitement. <laughs> Uh, go on. Uh, I'll join you only because I'm weak and giving in easily to peer pressure. <laughs> These conversations. Oh, man. He's in our group. Say a Neil. I'm going to have to change that name because that's a stupid, dumbass name. But Say a Neil. How you doing, bro? I just wanted the novelty of having one robot dude, okay? So it's just, I just, it's probably going to be a pain in the butt to keep him up, up the snuff. Alright, now we got to keep an eye out here. We're at 66 here. Let's just go and, uh, not sure if we're, we're, we're melting in the way. What's going on here? Show me what you got. I just want to... Skeleton repair kits. Well, you know what? I don't feel like actually buying them. I could, I'll, I'll buy two. But... Uh, yeah, you, uh, I don't want to buy any more than that. That's, that's quite a bit. Alright, so we're going to do a quick save, but not a full save. So, Alright, so let's see here. Let's grab... Alright, he's at 81. Can I actually go into... Yeah, it'd be super if you gave me back control of my computer, Mr. Computer. Alright, let's see. Can I go into these buildings right now, or are they closed? I'm hitting alt to see if there's any weapon shops here or anything. I don't see any. What about this place? Alt. Nothing showing up. Alright, let's let it go here. I'm, I'm just wondering if inside buildings are we taking damage. Alright, hold on, hold on. Come on, come on, come on. Where's, where's, uh... Crap burgers, Batman. Trying to grab my guy here. It looks like no. Looks like he's, he's actually healed a point. 82. It's in the process of healing. 83. Okay. So we can heal up here, and I actually I am going to do that. So I'm going to cut out here for a little while and just kind of let us heal up. Be right back. Okay, we're back. To the bone chilling excitement. All right, Sad Neil. That's his name. He's kind of a sad robot. He was just giving us a sad little sob story there. Well, that's a neat looking building. Is that that one I was marked on the map? Yeah, scrap home. I guess they did send a materials trainer to my base over here from way to hell out in the middle of freaking nowhere. I don't know who these guys are. But we're just making a mad dash towards the edge of this thing because... Oh, uh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Why are you not running with the group? Well, he's with the group. Who's this other? Who's this back here? 
Joe, why are you, uh... Alright, I don't get why Joe just decided not to walk with us. He just decided not to walk with us for some freaking dumbass reason. Look, this is not really the... Okay, things are going on with him. What are you doing? And things are attacking us. It's a freaking robot. Alright, let's go and... Uh... First off, let's get on land. Joe, you come over here. I'd like to fight the thing on land, please, but we're just going to hack the pieces here. I get it, but just get out of the freaking water. Ah, oh, man, this is a nightmare. Oh, we got we got it killed somehow. All right, so can we uh, pick... Holy shit, she's... Oh, my goodness, she's going to die. There's no way. Pick up. Get out of there! There's no way! We're get, we gotta get out of here! Holy crap, I don't think we're gonna make it! Oh, no. Sad Neil. Uh, pick up... Oh, crap, I... You see how... Yeah, you go here... Oh, boy, this is really bad. <laughs> I'm gonna have to restart from the town again, uh... Oh, Joe just did that. Alright, you you pick him up. What are you doing? Holy crap, you got like no arms and legs. Okay, um, how about you pick him up? Alright, can we get the hell out of here before we fight any more robots? Because that's a bad thing. Are the robots there? We are not going to make it out of here. We're going to be forced to... Uh... Alright, well, we'll let it go, but I, I got a weird feeling like uh, one of our guys are going to die. Because of... The ass is just dripping on them. And they had nothing left. Nothing! Please, don't die. I got to, I have to build one of those bases and put down some uh, thingies there. Alright, now are we in acid right here? I guess that's the next question. Like, look at this guy. Look at this. Negatives... Oh, Shadow Lilac is dead. All right, we got to reload. All right. Oh, all right. Okay, I'm still in this little place. I went upstairs. There's a few beds here. Four, it looks like. And I'm just paying the money out. I, normally, I would... I just don't like paying money for stuff like this, I guess. But uh, I got some robot repair beds. I have a ro robot repair bed I made for my base at home. So I already have one ready to go. Well, I think our biggest problem last time was we may have actually swam through all that uh, that water. And I think <laughs> that may have actually added to our death and we did I didn't like fight that freaking robot right away. So what I'm going to do when I come out of here this next time I'm going to save it after I do like a full heal. I'm going to go here and go down, try and go around all that water and then get up on these ridges somehow. I'm just hoping the rain stops when you get around somewhere up here and not have to deal with that so it's gonna be a long wait for me and uh yeah so i'll be right back okay so they are mostly healed i want to get this show on the road and i just i, I come on guys let's uh let's take this kind of like in baby steps here so the whole crew will go for sad neil's like on his own right yeah, see, that's the problem. You're not doing, uh... There you go, like that. I think they're immune. I'm not sure what... Let's see here, uh... Lovely is one of those other races. He might be immune, too. Yeah, and some of, the, some of these, like, equipment and stuff, like, look at him. He hasn't gone down at all. Some of the equipment actually gives acid protection and stuff, so... It's possible that some of my guys might aren't taking damage from the acid at all. I don't know. It's a gift. I just think running through the the frickin' water was a mistake last time. That might have been part of our problem. Alright, so. Step by step. We go forth and do this little by little. So we don't accidentally go into the water. And when we fight that freaking robot over there, we fight it on our terms on land. 
we even have to fight it at all. I'd like to just avoid fighting it, because we're taking... Yeah, see, Mr. Robot's immune to this. Alright, let's see, let's check this. Yeah, I think we're okay here. Make sure everyone here? Yes, everyone's here. Okay. I have to check, apparently, because the freaking crappy pathfinding in this game. Now, the question is, are we going to take acid damage once we get up here, which looks like it's a different area? Maybe we will. Alright, first off. Yeah, we took quite a bit of damage. Just... Yeah, I think I think we are still. This guy's making noises like my Ray Desert. Yes. No more acid. No more acid on our heads. Let's go show the dismemberer decides to take off. Let's get to the top of this nice little ridge here and make ourselves another house. How about that? And we'll actually, I might actually have to make uh, beds in this one. I don't know. Because uh, we, <laughs> we need the rest up again. Just from walking through the... Yeah, look at that. We're already down to one quarter of what we were. Yeah, whatever Genshi's got on... Is giving him, like, resistance to acid. Ah! His dust coat... Is 80. So the drift, it does go. Drifter's pants gives him another. See, he's mostly immune. Technically, it's only 90%, but he hasn't taken any damage here from his stats, so. Alright, so, um. Let's, let's build a house up here. Another house. Another small shack. You have building materials. Someone does, at least. Yay! We got a small shack. We're inside our small shack. There we go. We're all hanging out. Alright, so. Question is, should I leave these... These, uh... Things permanently. Alright, Genshi, you got. Oops, not a campfire. I'll label pull a campfire in there just for the heck of it. Just for light. Confirm. Why aren't you doing that? You're the one that doesn't need it. There you go. Yay! All that just to get through a big pile of freaking acid and oh man, what an ordeal. Okay, so I guess I'll cut out here for for a little while to get people a little bit back up to snuff again. Now, two episodes and all we've really gotten was about half, not even halfway to, wait, let's see, we've got, well wait, let's see. First episode was right there. Yeah, it's going to end up being like Three, four episodes here. I only have a little bit of time here to record. Uh, I'm running out of time, in other words. So, yeah, we're gonna probably... I'm, I'm looking for a city around here. I'm running out of food. So I, I would like to just like have a run down into this area. I might even send my crew back at some point and actually have... Uh, Shifty come down here on his own as a runner at some point. So I'm going to cut out here for a little bit and let our people heal up at least a little bit. Be right back. Okay, so we're going to head off this way. Let's uh, get on people here. No, the great thing about the robot is they don't get hungry. Unfortunately, I only have... Oh, we got a way station. I really needed that. Like, really badly. I have no food. I actually have two pieces of food left, and, and that's it. My guys weren't hungry yet, but we're going to be out here a little while, so. Yeah, man. So, yeah. I wanted to get, like, one decent-sized base, maybe, like, a larger building with, uh, 
like actual beds in it. So we can use it as a you know, better layover point, kind of. This gray desert's kind of empty, but there's like these big buildings off in the distance. So I'm wondering if those are ruins or something we can get stuff at. I could have also bought this building. I got so much money I could have, could have just bought it and repaired it here. All right, so let's see here. What do we got? We'll have Mr. Robot Guy go in here. He doesn't have any equipment, does he? Let's just talk. All right, we could just buy freaking materials here. There's no backpacks. This is sort of what I wanted him to have. Uh, that's not too good. Oh, well. Oh, wait, actually, I need someone with a backpack to go put the food in. Alright, you, you do it, Julius. Just hope they have what I want here. And I wish I had more meat wraps. But I'll buy some of the other stuff here that's... That's not, that's not too bad. I'll just buy it. So just buy a scavenger's backpack for that robot, just to have. I got no room for that item. No, I guess you cannot. Sad Neil. He's so sad. There you go. And I gave him something here. Let's get uh, a name of that. Robotics and Medic. Unfortunately, he doesn't have the repair kit. Who did I give the repair kit to? I don't know. Chances are he's not going to be using it on himself that much, so I had someone give it to someone else. But uh, let's see here. I don't give a crap. That's enough. Quick save, and we're going to go. We got limited time here. We got to get going. Spent half the most of the freaking episode doing the freaking acid area. And we've got to get we got to get going some real exploration here. Like this is, this is all kitty crap, man. It's all weak of time. All right, now this is just one big expanse. We want to find places in which uh, you know we can actually uh, settle and stuff. All right, let's see, Julius, you did you put all that? No, you did not. Put all that stuff in your bag. Uh, I guess I can't. Come on, can I thank. Can I thank you? Thank you. That's super. Game, can I uh put the stuff? Thank you. Oh, the game wants to finally give, let me do what I want to do. Yeah, I get a little annoyed with that. Like I lose control of the mouse or something for for a short while in this game. I, I don't know what what's up with that. Arrange. Can we get one more piece in? There you go. That's super. Okay. That only took a lot, way longer than it should have. And we're going off that direction. Du, 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 du. Shifty is small. <laughs> Alright. Now we're heading right towards whatever the hell that is. Holy crap, look at that. It's like a big old freaking storm or something. Yeah, but that's not an actual ruin on the map. Probably not. It's just a structure. I'm going to head to it just for the heck of it. The eye. I'm hitting alt and there's nothing here, so... I don't know. The eye. That must be like the eye of a, some kind of a storm must be over here. I don't know if we're able to go into that area. Go to it. Now, because it looks like it should be some sort of, is that a building over there? And apparently these are, just, these are just not things, I don't know, I guess they're not ruins or something. thought they would be. I literally don't see any kind of creatures out here either. I'm done complaining, mind you. I head towards that, but I don't think that's really anything either. Yeah, game. We uh, go or are we not? All right, we're going. Venge. So somewhere down here is Venge. Discover town sla under slash smaller. Lovely. And hey, our favorite friends. They just got through wrecking us for how many episodes. 
Oh wait, no. If we can avoid fighting them, I would avoid fighting them. But why did they? Why they didn't want to fight us? I don't know. We're not good enough for them, or something. I don't. Are there more down here? I actually don't want to fight them if I can avoid it. Now, why do they just turn away? They noticed our group was too large and they didn't want to fight us. That's, they got afraid of us. So, like, down that away, I guess, is just, like, parts unknown so far. I'm not really sure what I'm doing out here, really. I'm saying I want to build some big, giant base out here. I don't want to build a big, giant base out here. I just want to go out here and look around and explore. And what is this? What is this? I see someone coming in. I'm kind of curious what factions are out here. Tech hunters, those are just regular like bant like dudes or something. They don't they don't give you problems. We really haven't had too many fights yet, have we? We I mean, reloaded some of those that we were fighting. So technically we only have that one fight under our belts for this adventure. I wouldn't mind a couple more fights. I just don't want to go too crazy with it. Now surely there's got to be some sort of like city or town out here somewhere. I guarantee. I guarantee there's got to be something out here. Right now it's a little desolate. There's like some sort of a robot over there. Do you see? Robot spider. And why, how did this happen? How did just two people get selected and then they went? See, again, I didn't do that. That's some kind of quirky thing with the system here going on. That I don't really quite understand how that happens. And then what happens is I do that and then people go off in some strange direction and have nothing to do with the rest of the group. Even though they're like, this is grouped up. They're grouped up here. Like, for instance, Julius is way to hell over there. Why are you over there? That's how people die. They go off alone, they die. You know, I have to say, uh, specifically about this game, I just, I got this game, like, a couple weeks ago. And I've already logged in 70 hours, which is saying something in and of itself. Yeah, I'm going to say it right now. Yeah, I like the game. <laughs> I mean, uh, I think it was pretty obvious, but based on the amount, like I said, I wasn't, uh, when I bought it, I said, you know, I'll just buy this game, it looks good, right? And I'll play it myself, and I don't know. I, I really wasn't originally planning on doing a Let's Play of it, but then I was like, you know, I want to do a Let's Play of it. Let's go. This is kind of a funky area. Tempted to swim out to that. I keep thinking there's got to be either a city here or here or something. So, I guess I'm going to try going down that way. So would I recommend the game? Yes, I would. In a heartbeat. You know, the thing was, I balked like, oh, well, it's an early access game. It's 20 bucks. It's, um, seems like it's been stuck in development for quite a few years, but there's progress being made on it. And it's just an interesting game. At any rate. So, let's avoid that. Animal Den, please, hello, are you people going to listen to me? No, we don't want to keep, we don't listen to you. Okay, okay, we'll listen to you. Okay, no, I got, I got obviously based upon my uh, criticism of the uh, current pathing situation. Holy crap. Uh, Alright, so there's, there's freaking things out here. Uh, I don't know, we're going to have to fight something, so... Alright, we're going to do a quick save and we're going to hit one head on and kind of cut through. I'm assuming it's those beak things, but I don't know, I haven't seen nothing out here. I want to go down to that village thing that just popped up there. 
then I might have to call it an episode because this one's been going on quite a long time from my point of view also. From my point of view, the Jedi are evil. <sighs> well, we, we somehow avoided that. Whatever that nest of whatever it was. Storm Gap Coast. And a village. Hopefully not hostile. Go on through. Oh, whatever you are. Actually, what faction? You're United Cities. Okay, I've heard them. They're in the south, though. Huh, interesting. Alright, uh... Now, what about, like, their skills? Do they go up? Like, his is going up with athletics, the robot. At least I think it is. Does he have a, a weapon on him? He doesn't have a weapon on him. I didn't give him a weapon. Alright, well, there's a bar here, so I guess I'll go in and have him buy some food for us. He's got a backpack now. He can do it. I'm not going to pick up any more people, I don't think. Like I said, it was kind of a novelty just to, to pick up a robot just for the sake of having a robot. Alright, so is there anything actually here? The building there that's locked. Some sort of building, I can't remember what that is. Off the top of my head. Uh, let's see, where where's Shifty? Should be opening in about an hour, I'm guessing, what I'm seeing here. And his skills, like he's been, he was my first guy, and his attack is 39, defense 35, toughness 47, strength and 32 apiece. Well, I've not used him in a whole lot of combat, some of the other guys might be a little better than him, but he's, uh, that's about where my group is at. That's like, that's the pinnacle. Most of the rest of the dudes are like in their 20s. 30s and some of those things. <clears throat> Open up, please. I need to get in. All right, we'll be editing this out. Okay, he opened up way late, like 12 something. Holy crap! Don't know why that is. Oh, he's got animals for sale. He's got a bone dog and one of them thingies. I don't care about them. Can't come by. But your other stuff. Oh, he just, he sells, uh, backpacks and crap for people. Yeah, we're pretty good on every all that stuff, I guess. Well, this was kind of a waste to wait here, but we waited. Well, I'm going to be ending the episode pretty soon here, and I didn't get to nearly what, everything I wanted to do. I really only did, like, an investigation of kind of, like, this lower strip and what's going to happen is I'm going to play tonight, probably, a little bit. And I'm going to walk down here, walk back, maybe swim over here. And then I probably plan on recording one or two episodes in the morning. So I might be, who knows, somewhere over here by then? I don't know. I may send them back. If I can't find any towns, we're going to run out of food eventually again. We got food now, but who knows how long that'll last. I may set up another outpost. I don't really have a whole lot of building more, more building materials though. So I don't I don't really want to build another one unless I really feel like I it's got something interesting in the area. So I probably wouldn't build one out here or over here unless there's something really phenomenal there. So alright, I'm gonna end this episode. I will see you guys next time. Adios folks.